Alright, so I'm in my camber where I have installed a 32 inch Roku TV. I love Roku TV. I have Roku TVs all over my house and all the rooms. It is it is so great. There's so many channels and so much to watch. So since it's so familiar for me, I decided to install it out here as well. And I use Roku a lot to stream from my phone or from my laptop. So that would be perfect when we are in a campground and there's no uh, Wi-Fi available or there's no internet available. I just bring movies on my laptop and stream it directly to the TV. So I installed the Roku TV and I realized, man, you cannot use all the apps, all the channels, unless the TV is connected to Wi-Fi. So, okay, I decided I will make a little local network here without being connected to the internet, because that way I could connect the TV to the network and my phone or my laptop to the network and that way stream to the uh, to the to the TV. So I bought I bought a cheap router which I installed behind here. Created a network and turned on my Roku TV to connect to the network and the Roku TV will not connect to a network unless there is an internet connection. Stupid, right? It, it doesn't make sense to me, I don't know why. But you can't, it won't. So I figured there had to be a way, there had to be a way that you can make the TV connect to, to the local network without internet. And I found a way. What you do, is you need a, you need a Wi-Fi connection with internet initially to, to set this up. So you turn your local network off and you connect the Roku TV to a, a other network. It can be, in my case, my home is right there. So I connect to my home network or you can make a, a hotspot on your phone. You connect with a name on that hotspot and the password. And as soon as the TV is set up and connected, then you turn the TV off. Then you turn on the your local network here. And you set it up with a Wi-Fi network with the same name and password as you previously connected the TV to. So if I connected the if I connected the TV to my phone hotspot called uh, Happy Camber and password one two three four five, then I will go in here and create a network name Happy Camber with the password one two three four five that's it so next time you start up the TV let's try to do that now it will connect to the same network that it was connected previously and now we are somewhere where there's not a internet connection and the TV will still remember the last working connection to, to a Wi-Fi network. And since I named the local network with the same name and password, it will automatically connect, not almost automatically connect to the local network in here. So this is my streaming app, the 
I don't have it. Uh, go back. Let's go down here. Here, video webcaster. That's the one I used to stream from my phone. So if you see here, it says not connected to the internet. Your TV is currently not connected to the internet. Web video caster may require an internet connection. Please set up an internet connection. No, I will not. Because if I do that, if I continue with it, if I continue uh, with that one marked up, I'll have to start over again and I will lose the setting I have inside of the TV. So I go down here, proceed anyway, and bam, I'm ready to stream. That's it. So that's how you connect your Roku TV to a network, Wi-Fi network without any internet connection. I hope that was clear enough for you all to understand. If not, then go ahead and ask a question down in the comment and I usually reply the same day. Thank you for watching.